So here's the thing with mistakes and failures. We all make them. I mean, I have made so many mistakes along the road, it's not even funny. And not only that, oftentimes it takes me several goals before I actually learn the lesson that is available to me. However, that being said, we don't often talk about our mistakes. And consequently, a lot of, feel, of people feel like somehow they're the only one who is experiencing failure or setback. And we also make the mistake of assuming that making an error are experiencing a failure behaviorally is indicative of our character being flawed or us being a failure and they're not the same, same thing at all and I talk quite a bit about being able to separate yourself from your endeavors and this is why it's so important when people are setting goals or when they're looking at external um, validation for their self-work that you don't become too tied up in it because ultimately then when you experience setbacks or if something doesn't work out, all of a sudden your sense of self-worth can be severely compromised. So it's really important that we do a lot of the inner work as well. That being said, it's lovely to set goals. You don't want to kind of stay on the shore all the time. You want to go out and explore the waters. I mean, ultimately, a great sailor was never made on calm seas. So we need to try new things. We need to step out of our comfort zone. But part of that is going to entail making mistakes. And I suppose the culture, particularly social media culture, kind of portrays everybody's life um, based on their successes and based on their achievements. And it can can be really really um, humiliating and very intimidating when we make a mistake then because we're like oh my god what's wrong with me Um, why am I failing when everybody else is doing so well but I guarantee you any of those people that you're looking to um, for inspiration they are making mistakes they are share, uh, experiencing their fair share of adversity it's just as I said earlier not everybody talks about it and the more we talk about things the more we show vulnerability with our mistakes and I'm not talking about you know going onto your your Instagram story and talking about it I'm talking about reaching out to somebody that you trust and saying do you know what I'm really struggling here I'm having a bad day and um, this didn't work out for me and it's really affected how I feel and that creates a fantastic connection with another person. It really deepens the intimacy of a relationship and can really strengthen the bond. Likewise, when you can approach your mistakes and your errors with a sense of acceptance, with a sense of humility and integrity, and examine what it is that went wrong and examine your role in things because I think we're very quick, we're, we're so filled with shame and embarrassment when it comes to our mistake that we don't even want to think about the role that we've had to play in it. And so we tend to point the finger and look at other people and, um, you know, kind of push blame onto circumstance or, as I said, onto other people. And that's not very beneficial to us because there is so much wisdom, there is so much knowledge, there is so much growth available in our failures and yet if we're running away from them if we're not exploring them a little bit if we're not being a little bit curious with what went wrong and what we could have done differently then we're never going to live any differently we're never going to experience things any differently and we're missing out on all the nuggets of wisdom that are available to us at the time so it's about um, I suppose focusing on the solutions as opposed to just focusing on the problem because we do tend to uh, ruminate on the fact that something went wrong uh, as opposed to what could have gone better and how I could have done things differently and that's part of looking at your life differently it's about shifting your perspective to something that is more proactive that is more self-aware and that is more self-responsible because ultimately no matter how much we want to shirk away from it we always play a role in our own mistakes and we need to learn how to do things differently otherwise as I said we'll keep repeating the same thing over and over again 
However, none of us are perfect. That's how you live your life. That's how you, um, I suppose, take these chances and take these risks, knowing that there is a possibility of failing. There is a possibility of fucking up along the way. And that is the, the colorful, vivid part of your life. That is how we learn. That is how we evolve as people. That is how we get in touch with our true inner strength. Because when you're knocked down, you have no choice but to either stay down there or get back up again and to get back up requires courage it requires vulnerability to take a chance again it requires true inner strength and poise so you are continuously growing and building and evolving on the person that you are and you're learning a lot about yourself you're learning a lot about the world and you're learning a lot about other people and indeed you have that wisdom then and you can give it to other people you can impart onto other people the the areas that you felt you could have changed or the ways in which you could have done things better so that other people don't necessarily have to make the mistakes that you did now that being said when you're in the midst of a mistake and you're feeling all the shame and the embarrassment um it can take a little while to move out of that place into a more humble um I suppose open-minded growth mindset so give yourself that little bit of time to lick your wounds however don't wallow don't ruminate recognize that you've made the mistake allow yourself to feel a little bit bad about it but then learn from it accept it move on with integrity and go again I mean literally you should never allow your mistakes to deter you from doing what it is that you want to do with your life and if what it is that you're working towards is aligned with your true essence as a person then no matter what happens you will never be held back you will always keep going with the journey if you would like assistance with working through any of the areas that you feel aren't going particularly well in your life get in touch with me on my website it is fundamentals.ie